Hi girlies, it's Grabby and welcome back to my channel. It's uh, <laughs> It's been a while. By the time you're seeing this, I haven't uploaded in like two months, which is crazy. Um, but I'm back, okay? <laughs> this is a video that I've had planned for like several months now that I've really wanted to do and uh, happy Jonghyun day. I'm posting this on her birthday if all goes to plan. If you're new here, Jonghyun of TWICE is my ultimate bias, my number one in K-pop. I collect a lot of stuff for her and I wanted to take this opportunity to show off my entire collection of signed things. There will be timestamps and this video is kind of going to be split into sections. I'm going to start off by giving you some context and some disclaimers. Then we're going to get into each different type of sign item one by one and I'm going to talk about each thing at length in detail. So be prepared for a lot of yapping. And then after I've showed you everything, I'm going to answer some questions. I asked on my Instagram story a little while ago if there was anything you guys wanted me to discuss in relation to collecting sign twice items. So we're going to we're going to have a chat about that as well, but that'll be after everything. So real quick before we get into it, I do want to say as well, I am not an expert. Well, <laughs> Maybe, maybe a little bit <laughs> at this point. I've only been collecting signed items since early to mid 2023. So for about a year and a half. So this is just everything I have slowly accumulated since then. At this point, I think I know a fair amount about collecting signed twice items, specifically for Jonghyun, but I don't know everything. There are people out there who know even more than me. So if you know something I don't know, or if I get anything wrong, please let me know in the comments. Can I fix this lighting? Hello? Okay. Oh, that's so much better. I would like to think that I'm fairly knowledgeable at this point, but please don't take my word as gospel, okay? Believe it or not, I am not right about everything. <laughs> I guess without further ado, let's just get straight into the items. I'll be kind of starting off small with the most affordable, abundant things and then working up to like the big expensive stuff at the end. But like, watch the whole thing, okay? Don't just skip to the fancy shit. I know you're going to, but don't. Sharing. The first few items I want to show you are these three. So these are so far the only US store exclusive items that they've done. They are doing them again for the comeback. I will be grabbing hers. You already know. I'm not going to watermark the signatures on these, but I will for some of the later items. You'll see. But uh, there's so many of these out there and they're pretty affordable. There's a lot of photos of them out there. So I don't think it's worth bothering. Although these, these are cut so weirdly. Look at all of the freaking. you see that? Anyway, I, I don't know. I just love between one and two era. Do not like this outfit. Do not like this outfit. This, this, whatever this is, Hillary Clinton, it's so ugly. I'm sorry. She's gorgeous, but ah, the jacket, the jacket is awful. <laughs> that said, I do really enjoy this little bookmark. It is quite tiny. Um, I'm not sure what I was expecting. But uh, yeah, I only acquired this this year because I think when these came out, I just wasn't collecting that kind of stuff at the time. It is always nice to have something signed from my favorite era. So I'm pleased about that. I do have one more between one and two signed thing, but <laughs> you'll see that later. Next up is the ready to be signed photo. I, uh, this was, I don't know if it was the first signed item I ever owned or the second, but um, it's one of the first. Her signature definitely looks a little strange, but <laughs> they sign so many of these that the signatures are just kind of all over the place. But she does have a little indent there-ish, but you can barely see, so it's no big deal. I would really love to own more items in the future of her in this outfit signed, but there aren't that many. I mean, there's like maybe one or two lucky drawers, if I remember correctly. And I don't know how many of each signed lucky drawer exist for the ready to be era, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I just love this outfit so much. It's one of my favorite Jong Yeon looks ever. Um, I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> I don't think they did Polaroids in these outfits, or at least not her. I don't think she has any Polaroids in this outfit, but if she did, I would be willing to splash out a very large amount of money <laughs> to get one. I think that's all I have to say on this one. But last but not least is the With Youth signed postcard. This is definitely like an actual postcard. That's more of like a printed photo. But um, this one's a little thicker and the signature annoyingly is on the back. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen these plenty, uh, so we don't need to spend too long on it. Some of the members signed the front. She did not. But uh, she's lucky that she's gorgeous and I love her, so she gets a pass. I just really enjoy a very massive signature and it might not look like it, but um, I mean, as far as signatures go, this is quite big in the scheme of things. Again, there's a lot of these, so these aren't that kind of valuable or special, but I love them. I think they're great. I have kind of no desire to collect these for any other member, even though it wouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Like, like I say, they're quite affordable, they're abundant. But um, yeah, I only really collect Jonghyun for signed stuff and then maybe the odd OT9 signed album, which you will see 
in a moment. <laughs> Jared! I think for the signed albums, it makes the most sense to just show you in chronological order. So we're going to start off with this. Oh God, she's a bit... <laughs> The plastic is a bit scratched up at this point. I don't know if this is my plastic or just the plastic that I received it in, but this is a Jonghyun signed Twice Coastal Lane 1 M-Wave album. These M-Wave albums aren't too difficult to find. I think the page 2 ones are a lot more abundant to be honest. Like I feel like I see a lot more of those, but I just really love owning a copy of this album signed. I would love an OT9 promo of either version, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a thing for future Grabby to think about. This is just one of Twice's best albums, one of their most iconic. And um, yeah, I wish she had signed the actual photo book and not just the slip cover. I'm not going to take it out of this plastic to show you, but you can get a pretty good idea. But um, yeah, here is the little thing. It's not a promo, like I say. I got this on Makara Japan. I think I actually, I think I got all my signed albums on Makara Japan. But yeah, just very pleased to own this. Not much more to say on that. But the next signed album I own is Twice Crystalline 2. <laughs> Now this also isn't a promo, but um, like as you can see, it's just got the gold sticker. So initially I was a little sus, I won't lie. Like out of all of the things that are signed that I own, this is probably the most likely to not be legit, but I don't, I think it's real. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have bought it if I had serious doubts. That's only because non-promo OT9 signed albums aren't the most common thing, but I think it was kind of like the Wild West during these early eras, you know what I mean? They were signing albums for like, like you win them and, and things like that. So I have seen a lot of signed copies of this version of this album in particular, and the signatures all line up. They all look real to me. They all are in similar positions, similar styles, similar sizes, all of that stuff. So. I have no doubt in my mind that this is real, even if it comes from questionable sources, perhaps. Um, and also the fact that, again, the, the plastic is old. This has been on here for a while, but, um, you know, you can see the Sharpie marks on the back, which to me is just another indicator that it's legit. So I really enjoy this uh, cover of the album, though. I'm happy to own it signed. And I kind of miss these classic photo books, don't you think? Like, yes, OK, it's weird that it's horizontal. But that aside, I just think groups are doing too much these days with album packaging. Just keep it simple. Do a hardcover photo book, you know, this is perfect. So anyway, <laughs> no need to rant. This also was from Makara Japan. It was very cheap. Uh, this this M-Wave one, I think, was like around what you'd expect to pay, maybe a little bit less, but this was a really good deal. So I, it's like, even if it had been fake, I would have been an idiot to pass it up and it would have been worth the risk. But this is, this is legit, I feel it. The next sign album is this Signal promo. I love this so much. I think this was the first signed album I bought and I found it on Yahoo Auctions, actually. Um, so not Makari, but still through Neokyo. I bid on it. It was very low. No one else bid. I won it and I got it. It is a promo as well. There you go. You can see the sticker. And this is just the superior version of the album. So <laughs> I am very pleased to have it signed. When I was first getting into Twice, I was obsessed with Signal. Cheong was my bias. I loved Signal era Che in particular. Just, I don't know. <laughs> it was, I just, I was charmed, you know? So Baby Wants Grabby would be proud of me owning this, I reckon. Also, does anyone else find it weird that two of the photo books were identical, I'm pretty sure, and then this one was just completely different for Signal era? I don't know. <laughs> I've always found it strange, but this one is the best by far. It's pink and holographic and cute and girly, and that's right up my alley, so I love it. The final signed album I own, this is a recent purchase as well. I just got this in the mail a couple weeks ago, and <laughs> I cannot tell you how excited I am to own this. It is a Between 1 and 2 promo. Um, the plastic is a bit ugly. Oh, oh, don't look at that. <laughs> Don't look at it, okay? I literally just kept it in the plastic it came in. Um, so I will put new plastic on it eventually and it'll look very nice and neat, but not yet. As you can see, it has the newer promo sticker on the back. And Between 1 and 2 is my favorite era, which I know I've mentioned many times before. I love this album. I love this era. I love this version of the album specifically. The cover is my favorite because pink is my favorite color. Um, and I don't actually mind that it's plain and bland and boring because it it lets the signatures shine. You know what I mean? In case you haven't noticed already, this does only have eight signatures. Um, I don't know if they signed all of the promo albums in that first week, but Geo was away with COVID 
on the uh, first week of promotions. So unfortunately her signature's not on here, but uh, I know OT9 signed copies of this album probably exist now because they gave out signed albums at the Superstar booth for the anniversary just now. Um, but I don't know if any from the era do or if they signed more before or after that week, but I don't know. I've seen a lot of copies of this and I can't recall if I've ever seen any with OT9 signatures. So you'll have to let me know. I'm talking promos specifically, okay? Still, I think these signatures look great. Um, I just, <laughs> I'm just so happy to own this. I have really wanted this for a long time, but uh, newer promos, ugh, they're not super hard to find. I think it depends on the era. Older signed albums, surprisingly, are not as difficult to find or expensive, but uh, for the more recent ones, it's kind of hit or miss. I see a lot of NAR promos around because that just came out. I see, I saw a lot of Zone promos. There are a lot of Zone promo albums, um, but I don't plan on getting any of those because unless Jong Yeon has a solo, which we don't need to go there. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, okay? Then I would collect a signed copy of every version, but I don't think she is going to have a solo, at least not anytime soon. So I won't think about that right now. <laughs> I mainly just want um, OT9 signed albums or for With Youth, they did member signed albums for the Lucky Draw events. So there are copies that are only signed by Jong Yeon. I would love one of those, not to be like a solo stan, okay. <laughs> I would also love an OT9 sign promo, but um, I would really want one of those Lucky Draw albums. But anyway, this is it for the signed albums. So now I'm gonna quickly get into the miscellaneous section and then we'll we'll get into the, the heavy hitters, the real juicy stuff in a sec. Jerry! Okay, so I actually just left to make lunch, but I'm back. So if anything looks different, that's why. Still, we're getting back into it. And the first kind of miscellaneous random item I have is this Twistagram era fan sign page. Well, kind of, it's not quite a fan sign page in that it's not a page from the album, but I don't know. They did these random like large postcards that the members signed instead. And um, as you can see, this one's signed to Daehyun, so <laughs> thank you to this king for selling. I mentioned in the haul video where I unboxed this, but I've actually seen someone else reselling Cheong's version, signed to this same person, which is funny. But yeah, when I first saw this on Makara Japan, when I tell you this was dirt cheap, like I, like it's, <laughs> you would be shocked, okay? I had no idea what this was, so I had to look into it and do some research, but as you can see on the back, this is uh, from With Drama, back when they existed. I think With Drama rebranded into With Mew, right? Or am I crazy? Anyway, this is from this date here, and I'm pretty sure only 50 Wonces uh, attended this. I could be wrong, 50 or 100, but I think it's more likely to be 50. I forget. And they had one of these per member, I assume. And um, yeah, it's just a really large signature, but it's like, it's not printed. It's really on there. It's hard to tell because of this material, but this border is a little more glossy. So you can see the pen reflects, right? I just thought this was cool. And I kind of, I have no real qualms about owning signed things that are signed to a person. I would rather not own a signed album that's signed to a person. You know what I mean? Like on the cover for some reason, but I don't know, these feel different. And I would like to have more fan sign pages in the future, but they're not easy to find for twice. Like people just don't tend to resell fan sign pages, like cut out of albums. Uh, not that often anyway, especially not now. But yeah, when I found this and once I figured out what it was and that it was legit, I uh, snatched it up immediately on Makara Japan, of course. You can watch me unbox it in this video here. Uh, most of these things I have unboxed on the channel, not all of them though. I don't think I've unboxed any of the signed albums on the channel, but uh, definitely a few of these items that you'll see in this video, you will have seen before if you're a loyal grabby viewer, which side note, if you're not subscribed or if you're new here, hello. Come on now. Anyway, that's all I had to say for this one. On to the next one. Okay, this next one I received very recently and it was kind of a stupid purchase, I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> it is another fan sign page. And as you can see, okay, first of all, yes, you can barely see the signature. And usually I don't like to buy signed things where the signature is not that visible. In this light, actually, it's showing up. And then if you, you see that, like it's there, obviously. And it's a very big signature as well. But this is a Celebrate Era fan sign page. You could win a fan sign where all nine members would sign the little jewel case booklet. So this person here, oh my God, I didn't even notice that it opened up like this. <laughs> I've never, I just thought it was one page. Oh my God. This person who it is signed to cut out all of the pages of this booklet 
and were selling them individually on Macari. They had a Celebrate album and a Donut album, but Jong Yeon didn't participate in Donut promotions, so she didn't have one. If she had, I would have got that as well, but sadly not, because Donut is my favourite Japanese song of theirs. Still, I grabbed this because it was very cheap in the scheme of things, and it's just a unique, interesting item. It's like, you don't see this kind of thing for sale very often, even on Makara Japan. I think this was the first time I had come across like a jewel case booklet fan sign page, let alone an entire set being sold. So I grabbed Jong Yeon's. You can see the signature here. It's just, in certain light, it's not that visible, but I'm still pleased to have this. I think it's a really cool item and uh yeah just another addition to the collection really i'm gonna chuck this back in the sleeve and then put it back in my binder now we're getting into the slightly more interesting uh, it's all interesting to me but the slightly more expensive stuff okay you ready Jared. the next section of this video is going to be dedicated to my signed photo cards at present i have seven on hand and one on the way but that won't arrive in time to post this so we're not going to talk about that just yet but you'll probably see it on my channel. Signed photo cards are my favorite thing to collect aside from normal photo cards. I just I can't explain it but I genuinely enjoy signed cards more than Polaroids. I don't know why there are less kind of valuable some I would say are rarer than Polaroids but they don't go for as much so I don't know, it's, <laughs> I just really enjoy them. I love collecting them. They're such a fun little niche thing. And twice don't have that many signed photo cards, okay, in the scheme of things. They're doing them more often nowadays, but back in the day, they wouldn't really have events where you could win them. It's only in the past couple of years, really, that there have started to be more. Anyway, this is the section where I start watermarking things. I'm very sorry, okay? <laughs> just, I've got to be careful. So the first signed photo card that I want to show you is the first one I ever got. I am going to show you these in the order that I collected them because that just, it makes more sense to me. That's, uh, that's just the way that I want to store them and show them. So the first ever signed photo card I owned, I only got in February of this year, I think. I didn't receive it until March or April. It took quite a while, but this is from the eighth anniversary. I believe there might be three signed copies of this per member. I could be wrong. Um, I'm not actually certain, but it's definitely not more than that, I don't think. She's number 185. You see, she's from the fan meet. And uh, yeah, you just, I think it was like a lottery event. This anniversary, if anyone remembers collecting during this time and you also collect rare or more expensive twice photo cards, this was a shit show. The eighth anniversary was an absolute nightmare with all the superstar cards, the gold and the silver. I don't collect those. We don't talk about that. And so this kind of felt like a silver lining. And even though I didn't get it until a few months after the anniversary, it kind of made up for all of the stress that I went through trying to collect stuff during that time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, oh God, it was a horrible experience. And we won't talk about that. But yeah, I just really enjoy this card. The signature is so kind of sharp and thin. Like it's, I mean, it's definitely her signature. I have no question on the authenticity of any of these items, by the way. They're all legit, I, I know it. When I tell you having a signed card was my goal for this year, just one. <laughs> I really wanted a signed photo card, any would do, but I thought I would never own one because they're not easy to find. Each signed card, there are very few of them. If not, sometimes there's only one of each, but we'll talk about that later. So they're not easy to find and people don't really know or care about them that much. So there aren't a ton floating around the market because there isn't a ton of demand really. I mean, it's probably increasing as time goes on because now more people know about them and are interested in them, especially with the With Youth Lucky Draws. I think there was a lot of kind of, a lot more interest in sign cards than ever before. So considering how much I really wanted a sign card around this time at the start of the year, this was just the most exciting thing. One of the biggest highlights of my collecting career because I wanted it so bad and I finally found the thing that I was looking for. I did overpay a little bit. <laughs> I didn't quite know what the market was like for signed cards, which is on me. You know what I mean? There wasn't enough information out there, to be honest. Um, and if any of you guys are ever interested in buying rare or signed twice items, you can hit me up and I can help you figure out if it's real, what the price is like, you know, if it's okay. You can message me on Instagram if you're ever curious and I can give you a second opinion. Kind of wish I 
had hit someone up and asked what the price should be like for this when I first got it because it was a little bit expensive. I mean, I'm, I don't regret paying what I paid because I really wanted it and uh, you know, I'm happy to own it. So it's fine. I just think it was a reseller who like really wanted to make a profit. And as it turns out, one of my favorite reseller mutuals had seen this on Korean Twitter a couple months before my reseller who sold it to me got their hands on it. And they were like, girl, it was like half the price on Ktwit. <laughs> If only I had known, if only, ugh, whatever, it's fine. I'm still satisfied and I'm very happy to own this, so no complaints. Here is the second signed photo card that I ever bought. I actually received this one in the mail before I got that other one, but considering the other one like I, I purchased and secured first, that technically is my first one. This is another Superstar card, obviously, except when I saw this on Makara Japan, I wasn't aware that this was like a real thing that could exist. So I did so much research, right? Because the price was so good, like so like scarily good. <laughs> Like it definitely more than makes up for me overpaying for that other one, right? I had to do about an hour of digging and go scouring Japanese Twitter just to find out whether this was legit or not because I didn't know enough about it. But as it turns out, they did a lottery event for the Japanese version of the Superstar JYP game back in, I think, December of last year for the Japanese encore shows on the Ready to Be tour. Oh. I'm pretty sure three signed copies of each of these cards exist and um, yeah I, I saw this on Makara Japan and as soon as I was sure that it was legit I grabbed it for a very good price and I'm just so pleased to have it. I did unbox it in this video that I'm gonna put in the corner. <laughs> Go watch my whole videos guys they're so good. Something about this card feels so special to me I think because it was just completely like I got it completely on my own you know what I mean nobody helped me find this nobody found it for me I just completely found it randomly on my own one day when I was scrolling through Makari and just the excitement of tracking down something like that completely randomly was just it was such a thrill you know what I mean I also just love her in this look this photo shoot this outfit I will say this is the Japanese version of this superstar card there's a Korean version and a Japanese version and the cards look identical but these ones are bigger they're printed really they're printed like freebies they have such a weird kind of texture to them the hollow looks a lot cheaper um <laughs> so the card itself I've never been a huge fan of uh at least not as much as the Korean version of this card but I'm very pleased to have it signed. I have seen one other Jonghyun signed for this because I found it on Twitter. Their signature actually looked a little bit nicer. <laughs> it was just a little bit bigger and cleaner, I think, but it looked similar enough to this for me to know that this was legit. So I don't know, I guess that's the story of this one. Yeah, it was also just really fun to unbox on the channel. Go watch that video if you haven't. It's a little bit old now, but <laughs> it's still a fun video, I think. I think I got this maybe in like March, April, May-ish of this year? I forget. But um, again, all of these signed cards I've only gotten in the past 10, nine months. So in the scheme of things, like that's kind of crazy progress actually. Like I'm pretty proud of that. I had no idea it was gonna come to this. You know what I mean? I thought I would get one maybe by the end of the year and then I'd be satisfied, but <sighs> One thing about me is that one sign Zhongyun is just never enough. <laughs> we should know this by now. That's it for this one. On to the next sign card. All right, here is the start of the With Youth Sign Lucky Draws. I... <laughs> it's a funny story about this, actually. I really wanted a sign Lucky Draw from this era, and thank God I have a great GOM slash proxy who always comes through for me and hooks me up. She's an absolute queen, love her to death, she's awesome, and she helped me out a ton this era. She also got me the flow card, she, I, she did the fix slot for my pobs, like she was, like I said, she was hooking me up. I grabbed this from Korean Twitter for a very decent price, and uh, <laughs> It was, I was at uni actually, when uh, she messaged me to say, hey, it's secured, you know, you can pay now, it's all confirmed. And when I tell you, I was, I remember I was walking from one class to another and I was so excited that I had tears in my eyes. I was just grinning to myself like an idiot. <laughs> so silly is it ever that serious truly but that's how much I care about this stuff you know what I mean like one thing about me is I'm a passionate bitch 
I go all in. Not only that, but it's just such a cute photo card anyway, and the signature is really big. I will say the pen is so skinny, and then it's like thick here. I don't know. You could just tell that she did it quickly, basically. This is one of the Music Plant Lucky Draws, I should mention. If you're unaware, or you don't really collect twice, or you're not interested in this kind of thing, um, which I'm sure at least some of you watching are, because I love to watch collectors uh, <laughs> who collect groups that I have no interest in whatsoever. I just find it really interesting and entertaining. So if you're one of those people, basically for With Youth, Twice did four lucky draws. So two different stores and then two per store. And for the signed lucky draws, they did two copies of each signed, right? So there's only one other signed copy of this card in the world, same as all of the other lucky draws from this era, basically. So this is a one of two. <laughs> and uh, I'm just so excited. Like, I don't think the novelty of owning this or any of these will ever wear off for me, truly. I'm so grateful and so privileged and happy and lucky and uh, I don't know. <laughs> This especially just felt huge to me. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie, With Youth Era was, it was a lot, but it was a lot of fun. You know what I mean? It wasn't easy to collect because um, there was so much stuff happening. And I was also just really busy. This has been an incredibly busy year for me in my personal life. I've been working and studying and just, ha I've had so much going on. But during With Youth Era, <laughs> if you don't know, my number one grail item is to own any of Jung Yeon's between one and two signed lucky draws. Between one and two is my favorite era. I know I've said that a million times already in this video alone, but it's true. And for between one and two, they only did one signed copy of each card. And in our group chat, I don't know if I should be saying this. <laughs> I don't know if anyone in the group chat will watch this, but I'll keep it concise. In our group chat, the GOM put up a Jung Yeon between one and two lucky draw, signed lucky draw for claim, but I was asleep. And so I missed out. I'm going to put this aside, actually, because I'm going to keep telling the story. I promise I'll be quick, okay? Just let me yap for a second. I missed out on this between one and two sign lucky draw. It was a really cute one as well because I was asleep and someone else claimed it. And hey, you know, snooze you lose. That was on me. I snoozed and I lost. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. I was gutted because I really wanted that and I missed the opportunity. And you know what sucks as well is that... <laughs> It was only 10 p.m. but I go to bed so early. I go to bed at 9 usually because on my work days I have to wake up at 5 but I wasn't even working the next day. I had uni the next day so I could have stayed up a little bit later and I, I mean if I had known obviously I would have but you just never know with these things. Stuff like this just shows up randomly and you kind of just have to be ready. Alas I missed out on the between one and two lucky draw. The person who bought it is like lovely and a really sweet mutual so you know <laughs> no issue with them whatsoever. It's so silly. I feel embarrassed to even say this <laughs> but ever since then for months on end I had a really hard time sleeping and it's it's not even because of the photo card necessarily. Like I'll live, you know what I mean? I got over it pretty quick, but it's just something about that situation rewired something in my brain as to where all of a sudden I had this anxiety of what if I miss something while I'm sleeping? So I would like wake up in the night, like it was bad. I did also move the furniture around in my room. So I think I ruined the feng shui as well. <laughs> which I genuinely believe happened, okay? I did that too. So it was just a whole combination of circumstances combined with how stressful my life was at the time anyway, where after that point when I missed out on that lucky draw during With Youth Era, I, <laughs> I just couldn't sleep. It was really bad. Thankfully, I'm sleeping a lot better nowadays. I also moved my bed back to where it was originally, so the feng shui is fixed at least. <laughs> but yeah, that is a funny little story about how I got so invested in collecting signed items for twice that I ruined my sleep schedule for months because <laughs> of anxiety. But it's nobody's fault. It's not even, I mean, you know, it's not even really about the card necessarily, like I said. It's about being in that one situation that just triggered something in my brain. But thankfully, like I say, that's over now, so <laughs> it's fine. I'm good now. Here is the fourth signed photo card that I own for Jung Yeon. I also got this during With Youth Era, maybe like a month or two after that um, last Music Plant lucky draw. This is a Soundwave lucky draw. This signature definitely looks different, as you can see. I've noticed that Jung Yeon's signature tends to have kind of two distinct styles. She'll either do it really like sharp and pointed like this where it's quite kind of straight and angular or she'll do it a little more rounded and lazy but it still it still all looks the same do you know what I mean she has a very distinct style and I also always keep an eye out for how she writes her name and stuff if she does she's got quite distinctive 
kind of handwriting. And as you can see, she always kind of extends this T and then the line on the E and then the way she like does, it's it's all very consistent. You know what I mean? But yeah, I don't actually have a ton to say on this lucky draw specifically, except for the fact that it's very cute and I'm happy to own it. And uh, you know, I was, I was content for a long time having two of the four signed lucky draws because already that's like quite an achievement. Anyway, I think that's all I have to say for this one. So moving on, this next lucky draw. Oh my God, you guys. I don't know if this is my favorite signed photo card I own. Honestly, it could be. Um, <laughs> I think it gets docked points because she is wearing a black outfit. So part of the signature is on a black background, but I, oh, I just love this so much. <laughs> I'm so happy to own a signed Lucky Draw from Ready to Be era. I'm not sure how many exist per card signed. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. I'm really not sure. But how lucky did I get <laughs> finding this? Not only does it have a message as well as a signature, but she drew a heart on her cheek. When I tell you, oh my God. I nearly died. This was a little more expensive than perhaps it should have been, but I really don't care. I, I knew that going into it this time and I was more than willing to pay it anyway because it's so cute. And this is like the kind of item where if you turn it down, you're just not gonna find it again. You know what I mean? Like I knew I had to grab it and I love it so much. Oh, it just makes me happy. <laughs> this one doesn't have too much of a story behind it except it's just cute as hell. It really is. And like I said, I would love to have more ready to be signed lucky draws in the future, especially that one. I'm going to put a picture of it on the screen. This card signed, you know what? I actually saw it. I saw it during the era. <laughs> I saw a really um, reputable reseller selling a signed copy of that card. But at the time during ready to be era, I wasn't collecting signed cards. I didn't even really know they existed actually. So I didn't grab it. I think I, I hadn't actually owned any signed stuff at that point, so I wasn't on my radar, but boy, do I regret it now. <laughs> if only I'd known. Still, I'm very satisfied with this one. It's so cute. This is a with me lucky draw, I'm pretty sure. And I think that's all I have to say about it, to be honest. Now, this next signed photo card does break my rule of don't buy signatures that are barely visible because they're on a blank background. <laughs> and I wasn't going to buy it, okay? I've been offered this card two different times. First during the era where I think I had already bought one or both of those previous with youth lucky drawers, I forget. And I turned it down because you can't see the signature very well. I might take it out of the sleeve, hold on. It's uh, a little more, oh, there you go, right? So it is somewhat visible in certain light, but yeah, you can barely see it. Anyway, I've been offered this on two different occasions and I turned it down both times initially from two different resellers, both of whom I trust and appreciate very much, just because you can't see the signature. And I was like, there's no point, you know, I'm kind of wasting my money. And then <laughs> after that second time, I think in like August, maybe end of July, I just kept thinking about this card and I was like, did I make a mistake? Like, should I go back and, and hit up the seller and be like, hey, is she still available? And eventually I did, right? <laughs> Because I think one other thing that had been holding me back was I knew that if I got three of the With Youth Lucky Draws, well, I'm only missing one, so I'll need the last one as well, but I'll never find it because the odds that I'll find all four are virtually zero. But I kind of just had the thought of like, well, a signed card is a signed card. I'll still enjoy and appreciate it, even if the signature isn't super clear. So eventually I, I bit the bullet and I negotiated a pretty good deal. You know, I got the price way down because I said, look, you know, I didn't want to buy this because of the signature. So if you're willing to like negotiate and give me a discount, maybe I'll grab it anyway. <laughs> so that's what happened. I definitely have no regrets. I'm pleased to own this. And what made it even better is when I finally just bought this, I made a story post that was like, haha, I'm only looking for one more with you lucky draw now and then I'll have a full set. Knowing damn well I was never going to find the last one because there were only two signed copies of each card. So imagine my surprise. <laughs> I'm just going to show you. Oh my God. Within a few hours of me posting that story, that same reseller <laughs> hits me up and goes, Hey, look what I found. <laughs> what I tell you, I have never been more shocked or excited in my whole life, genuinely. This is also my favorite with Youth Lucky Draw. That last one was uh, music, yeah, it was Music Plan. This is the other Soundwave one. And I genuinely thought there was no way in hell I would own this signed. Like the, like I said, the odds of finding signed copies of all four with Youth Lucky Draws are 
near impossible. I don't know how I managed it. I'm just very lucky. I know some great people who have connections and always keep an eye out for me. So I just, <laughs> I still can't believe it. This one and that last one both arrived in the same package a day or two ago, like very recently. Oh God, it might've been, when was it? It's Wednesday today and I think they arrived on Monday. So <laughs> they just came and I was waiting for them to arrive before I filmed this video. But man, words cannot express how fortunate I feel to own all four signed lucky drawers. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'll show you them all together. Here they are, all four. These two on the left are Soundwave and these ones are Music Plant. I hope the lighting's okay. <laughs> They're kind of hard to see because of all of the layers of plastic and everything protecting them. But yeah, I just, <laughs> it's insane to me that I'm holding this full set in my hands, truly. I don't know if I'll ever be this lucky <laughs> ever again. All of that said, that's it for the sign card section. I wanted to put the sign cards last, but I hit up my friends because like that that's my favorite thing. I was more excited to talk about the sign cards than the Polaroids, <laughs> which will be next. But I hit up my friends and they said I should do the Polaroids last because other people are going to care more about that. So we're saving the most exciting thing, I guess, by everyone else's standards for last. So <laughs> that'll be next. Jared. Now onto the sign Polaroids. I currently own five and now I know you're all going to be mad at me. I'm very sorry, but <laughs> I am going to have to censor this one because it, as far as I know, it's undisclosed. It looks a lot like this photo here. The pose is almost the same. So if you think you've seen it and like there's a photo of it out there, just let me know. But I couldn't find any pictures of this Polaroid anywhere. It is from hashtag twice three, I believe. And uh, yeah, I bought it, I think around May of 2023 and it's one of the first signed items I ever owned. I wasn't sure if this was the first signed item I ever got or the ready to be signed photo but it was around the same time basically <laughs> which like don't start with Polaroids. I'll talk more about this later in the Q&A section but if you're collecting signed items and you're like first getting into it don't start off by buying signed Polaroids especially if you don't know what you're doing. Thankfully I did a lot of research before getting this and so I was pretty confident but you, you just never know you know what I mean I found this on Makara Japan it was a very good price and I just decided to go for it I was very anxious when I received it I was so scared that it was fake because I realized as soon as I got it on hand I was like wait how am I gonna know though but you know I, you've got to trust your own judgment with these things I'll tell you more about how you can figure out if stuff's real or not later in the video like I say I confirmed that it was legit of course and I'm just very happy it's so cute <laughs> I wish I could show you, but at this point, I'm just not super keen on, uh, why is it still in the top loader? I guess because I was putting the sticky note on it. That's all I have to say for this one. I should clarify as well that all but one of my Polaroids are from Japanese album release events or things like that. I would like to get more Korean Polaroids in the future. The Japanese ones are a lot more abundant and generally more affordable. Um, but a Polaroid's a Polaroid, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think any Polaroid is better or more worth collecting than any other you know what I mean it's just you got to get what you like and can afford and is accessible to you basically with all that being said on to the next one this next Polaroid kind of breaks my rule yet again for not collecting signatures that are on a dark background you can see a good half of the signature here but this is from perfect world I unboxed it on the channel in this video right here. I found this not on Monkara Japan, I found it on a different Japanese site that I had to like manually ask Neokyo to proxy me for, but thankfully it was all smooth sailing. This is a legit Polaroid. It's very beautiful and gorgeous. <laughs> and I love her so much with this long dark hair. Oh my God, so stunning. I just like how up close the selfie is and everything and like these polaroids they're not always selfies it kind of varies but the ones from this event were and i don't know oh, it's just so stunning and again this was a really good price as well i probably wouldn't have bought it if it was like a little bit more expensive than this but it was so cheap that i had to grab it i think that's all i have to say on this one so i will show you the next one which you've definitely seen on the channel all right i'm just going to leave this one in the top loader that it lives in but um this is a better wide polaroid now i never really had much of a desire to own wide polaroids because i wanted to keep polaroids in my photo card binder but uh now that i keep them in my prism platinum binder I have room for bigger things like this. I told the story already in this video 
because I unboxed this on the channel as well. <laughs> so I won't get too deep into it. But essentially a mutual of mine saw that someone they follow was like dropping a bunch of Jonghyun stuff, including like signed items. And they were like, hey, I saw this and I thought of you. And I was like, oh, thank you. So I hit the seller up and they said they had two signed Polaroids, one from Better, which is this one, and then one from hashtag twice three. <laughs> but I was like, oh, well, I don't need the other one because I already have a Polaroid in that outfit. So I grabbed this for a very good price, very affordable, very cheap. Um, the seller was lovely and it was just a great experience overall. I really love this Polaroid a lot, actually. The signature is huge. I mean, hello. And I just, even though she's kind of got a blank expression, I just think the pose is so cute. It's like a very plain Polaroid, but I just, I don't know. I think it, it has charm. I love it. I would like to own probably just one more wide Polaroid in the future if possible, mainly because I keep this in a two pocket and there's nothing else <laughs> in the other half of the page. I would really like a Candy Pop wide Polaroid, please. Like that's, <laughs> you'll know I love Candy Pop era. It's everything to me. It would just make my whole life complete. So maybe one day I'll come across one of those, but until then, this one's just gonna live by herself in the two pocket. But yeah, no complaints. I think she's gorgeous and I'm pleased to have her. This next Polaroid you've probably seen on my channel very recently, if you watch my haul videos. But uh, yeah, this was a really recent addition to the collection. This is from the 2023 Japanese Seasons Greetings, I believe. There might be like, four or five of these per member actually. There's quite a few and I've seen a lot of different ones but I had never seen this one before. But like I have really wanted a Polaroid of her in this outfit for a very long time. <laughs> Like, it's just, oh my god, you know I love a woman in a tie, I don't need to tell you, you already know, but I thought I would never get one, because I've seen quite a few of these, but like, they've found their forever homes, so I didn't really have hope, but uh, then one of my favourite resellers hit me up and was like, hey, do you want this? And I was like, oh, yes please. <laughs> I do think the signature is really funny, because usually this part here, as I'm sure you know by now, just by looking at all of my signed items, but this part of her signature usually comes way down, but I'm pretty sure when she was signing it, the pen got caught on like this little lip that separates the picture from the frame so <laughs> instead of like continuing she just came all the way back up so it looks a bit strange it's uh definitely uh, an uncharacteristic odd Jonghyun signature but I don't even care I just love this Polaroid she looks so good and I'm really pleased to have it especially because I really wanted one for a long time and I thought I wouldn't get one when I was buying this the initial price that they offered to me was like fine but I knew I could do a little better so I was like you know do you maybe have any other signed Chongyun items that I could buy together and then we could do like a bulk deal because I had just got my tax returns <laughs> so I was like ready to splash out big time and that's when the seller hits me up and they say well you know I have this if you want to buy it and so <laughs> this final Polaroid here has serious law and again if you've watched the whole video you'll know the story so I'll try to keep it concise but this is the fifth and most recent Polaroid that I've added to my collection I got it in the same package as that last one I had been eyeing this Polaroid on Makara Japan for months on end at the start of this year but I never like bit the bullet and grabbed it because the price was always a little too high even though I could afford it but I've been saving hardcore for a trip next year. So this entire year I've just kind of been skimping and passing up opportunities to get things that I really wanted in favor of saving my money instead. When my tax return came through, I, uh, as we know, I went a little bit crazy. And uh, it's funny actually, cause I had watched it all that time on Makari and the price slowly went down and the yen slowly got weaker and I was like maybe maybe next week it'll be my my time to strike and I'll finally get it you know but I never did and then one day it sold and I saw <laughs> saw someone comment a price on the listing and of course with Neoko you can't offer prices so I, uh, you know, I missed out on that and I was disappointed, but you know, eventually I let it go and got over it. And then like a month or a few weeks later or however long it was, one of my go-to resellers hits me up on Instagram and they offer me this Polaroid. So they were the one who bought it. I wasn't like super happy with the price that they offered, especially cause I knew how much that they had paid for it originally. And I didn't have any problem with them trying to resell to make a profit. You know, like that's what you do. I understand it. It benefits both of us. So I've got no issue with that, but 
but I just still wasn't quite on the market for things like this at that time, so I turned it down. Then, when I bought that other Polaroid, the Season's Greetings one, they offered me this as well, and just gave me like a really good bulk deal for the both of them that I couldn't refuse. So I finally grabbed it after like two other missed opportunities where I could have gotten it, but I didn't. <laughs> like I said in that whole video where I unboxed it, I just feel like it's fate for me to own this Polaroid. You know what I mean? Like it, it, uh, it took a while, but it finally came home to me eventually. So <laughs> I'm pleased to have it. It's also just so cute. Uh, this is from the eighth anniversary. Apparently it's from a Polaroid event that the Japanese Zepito, Zepetto app had, I don't know, but um, it's definitely legit. I would be shocked if it was fake, even though at the time that it was on Makari, I couldn't really find any information about it. I haven't seen any of the other members equivalents for this, I don't think. So I was a little sus of it, but I do trust this reseller I got it from. So if she thinks it's real, then so do I. But yeah, I think this might be my favorite Polaroid I have so far. It's just so cute. I love the blonde streaks. That's my favorite Jong Yeon hairstyle ever. I love the casual outfit and all the Twice albums in the background. And uh, even though her signature is slightly obscured, I still think it's really good. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm pleased to own it. I know I've said that about almost everything in this video, but it's the truth. Jerry. Anyway, that is it for me showcasing all of the signed items in my collection so far. I'm hoping that my collection will only continue growing as time goes on. Um, I'm not in any rush to get more stuff, but if I, <laughs> if I could ask for anything, it would be Jonghyun between one and two signed lucky drawers. I would love one of her like solo member signed albums from the With Youth Lucky Draw events. I would just like more signed photo cards. Polaroids I'm less worried about, although a candy pop wide Polaroid would be very nice. <laughs> But sign cards are my thing, so that's what I want more of more than anything. Also more like random kind of fan sign page, things like that. Just miscellaneous unique stuff, you know? I know a lot of y'all are probably going to leave the video now because <laughs> we're done with the actual sign things, but I wanted to talk more about collecting sign stuff as a whole. So I asked for some questions on Instagram, like I mentioned, and I'm going to kind of answer some FAQs about collecting signed stuff for twice. Again, I don't know everything. I'm not necessarily going to be right about every single thing. So don't take me as like a number one authority. I'm just giving you my opinion. The first question that I got a lot is how do you know if a sign item is legit? Now, when I'm buying anything, not just a sign item, but like a rare item or anything like that, first and foremost, I think it's important to collect photos of the type of items you want to be collecting. Similar things, other copies of that, like everything basically. I have a very big folder in my phone gallery that is dedicated to just gathering pictures of different signed Jonghyun items and like rare photo cards and stuff like that when I see them. So that if I do want an item like that or I come across one, I have a point of comparison. So I can figure out, okay, well, this is what her signature probably looked like at the time. This is where it might be on that item. This is how big or thick it might be. And I think doing that also just helps you know what exists. I think that's really important. So I recommend having a point of comparison, but also just educating yourself on what is out there, like what lottery events might happen, which releases they give out Polaroids for and how many and what they look like. Just try to build kind of a knowledge of what is out there. The next question is where do you recommend buying signed items and where did you get yours? As I mentioned in the video, most of my stuff actually comes from Makari Japan or from Instagram resellers who source things off the Korean market. You don't have to get comfortable with Korean Twitter yourself because I am too scared to do that. Interacting with Korean sellers is just scary and intimidating and you also need a Korean bank account, a Korean address, you have to speak Korean to them and it's, I don't know, <laughs> it's just a lot. So I recommend finding someone on your platform of choice, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, who can help proxy you for things and they'll, they'll take a cut because people rarely do that kind of thing for free or out of the kindness of their own heart. So as long as you're aware of that and they're transparent with what they're getting from it and what the original price of the item is, then you're good. You know, build a relationship with people who can help you source things that might not otherwise be accessible to you. I will say as well, Makari Japan, it can be a goldmine, but you have to dredge through a lot of shit. There's a lot of fake signatures on there, but like 
most of it is stuff that you probably wouldn't fall for anyway. Like twice don't go around just signing random photos printed of them. There are a lot of fake signatures on Makara Japan, but if you can identify them and just dredge through them and you keep checking, you will come across plenty of like really good legit signed items on there too that are very reasonably priced. You've just got to wait it out and not buy any of the very obviously fake shit on there. <laughs> I don't recommend getting signed things on places like eBay just because it's all overpriced, you know what I mean? And a lot of it is fake as well, but uh, yeah. I, I'm a big Instagram user and I'm a big Makara user, so those are the two that I recommend, but also Korean Twitter if, if you can either do it yourself or find someone to do it for you. The next question that someone asked me is what made you want to collect signed Jongyeons? Um, <laughs> honestly, it just felt like the logical next step, I think, because when I got to the point where I finally wanted to collect sign items, I had never really had the desire to before that point. I mean, I've been collecting since 2020, like the very beginning of 2020. And it was only early 2023, after over three years of only collecting photo cards, that I finally kind of delved into the sign stuff, basically. I guess it was just because at that point I had kind of almost caught up with all of my photo cards. And I think also I had started working like an actual decent job. I took a semester off uni, I was working full time, and all of a sudden I had more money than I'd had in my whole life basically. So I went a little bit crazy and uh, ever since then I've just been slowly building my collection, but it takes time. You're not going to have a massive collection. I don't even really think I have a massive collection. You know what I mean? Like I've been a little self-conscious to even post this because I'm like, is it enough? Is it interesting enough? Am I going to have enough to say? But I don't know. I want to share this stuff anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, I just love Jong Yeon so much. And what you collect or how much you collect is not a signifier of how much you like an idol. I am not a better Jong Yeon collector than anyone else. I'm not a bigger Jong Yeon stan than anyone else, even though I am the self proclaimed number one Jong Yeon lover. But that is just my opinion. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is not fact. I'm just a collector at heart, you know? So I think that kind of thing over time just gradually became more enticing to me. And then when I had the money to do so, I decided to just finally go for it. The next question someone asked me is, do you think you would ever part with your Jong Young collection? Now, I've thought about this many times and there have been moments in my collecting career where I've wanted to stop collecting, but not once have I ever thought really about selling everything. Maybe one time a couple years ago when I was reevaluating what it is I want to collect, but ever since then I've been pretty firm in the idea that even if I did stop collecting one day, which I'm sure will happen eventually, I would still keep everything I have and just kind of chuck it all away in a closet, at least for a couple years or however long, and then maybe if I really didn't feel connected to it anymore in the future or I needed money down the line, then I could sell some stuff. But I genuinely, I can't see myself ever being strong enough to like part with it. Do you know what I mean? Just all of my Jong Yeon stuff is so sentimental and like special to me. You know, I've worked so hard to get to the point I'm at and a lot of it I wouldn't be able to replace if I did want to get it back. So I just can't imagine ever getting rid of it. Maybe, oh God, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Maybe one day, but not anytime soon. Is that lining better? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter because <laughs> I'm just yapping. Anyway, another question I got was how do you store and protect your signed items? Now, as I mentioned earlier, currently I'm storing my Polaroids and my signed cards in top loaders in Prism Platinum mini tour size four pocket pages, like smaller top loaders, I mean, like the kind of Japanese ones. And um, that works, you know, it's it does the job. The signed albums, I just put in plastic and I display. Although for the side albums, I do actually, <laughs> most of the time, only the back is visible. I have them on little stands, but I put them facing away from my room so that the signatures themselves don't get sunlight damage, um, which is silly because I don't even get to look at them throughout the day, but I would rather keep them protected and safe than, uh, <laughs> than risk them fading over time. The final question I'm going to answer is what are the easiest signed items to find and what do you recommend people start a signed collection with? Honestly, if I were you and I was just getting into collecting twice items for the first time, I would start off with basically just going in the order that I went through in this video, right? Start small. Start with the easy stuff, the cheap stuff, and then figure out if you slowly want to kind of expand and start spending more and getting more high value items from there. Don't start with a Polaroid. 
I can only really speak on Twice, but I know a lot of groups nowadays are doing like US store exclusive like sign items. Like I know TXT17 do them, although I wouldn't recommend buying those <laughs> because hype, but uh, you know, get them on resale. And as far as sign items go, generally those things are gonna be the most easy to find and the most affordable. I mean, I think I've seen Jonghyun with youth sign postcards for like under 30 AUD on Makara Japan of all places, even though they're a US only thing. So that's why I would start if I were you. And then if you decide that you slowly wanna work your way up and start getting pricier things, then that is something that you should absolutely do slowly over time. <laughs> Don't rush straight into it. Don't start off with the really big expensive stuff. If you're looking to get into twice Polaroids specifically, I would say start with Japanese Polaroids because like I mentioned earlier, they are going to be more abundant, easier to find, especially if you look on the Japanese market. They're generally a lot more affordable because for Korean album releases and events and stuff, generally they just do fewer for each, but also there is more of a demand for those as well, the Korean ones. So they're gonna be way pricier, generally speaking, but it does depend on the member, the era, the outfit, the shot, etc. You know, it just, it varies so much, but Anyway, I think we have finally reached the end. I hope this video isn't too long. I kind of expected it to be really long, but I think I actually kept each individual section quite concise. I think. <laughs> we'll see when I edit this. I hope editing Gravity doesn't have too hard a time putting watermarks on everything. I tried to keep everything very still, um, <laughs> but we'll see. Like I said, I'm hoping to get this out on Jonghyun's birthday. She is my number one, my favorite person. And um, I just thought since this video was so Jonghyun heavy, it would be a fitting thing to post on that day to celebrate. I've had this idea in mind for months now, literally. Like, I think since early this year, I've uh, been thinking about doing something like this. So I'm really glad to have finally got it filmed. I've been a little rusty, I won't lie, because it's been two months since I filmed a video. I filmed a clip unboxing those sign lucky drawers, but I don't know if you guys will ever see that. <laughs> it was a bit... I don't know, I'll see, I'll see if Editing Grabby can salvage it, but it wasn't great. I did have a bunch of stuff come in in the mail over the past couple months, but I just haven't been motivated to film haul videos or anything like that. I'll try to get out at least two or three more videos before the end of the year, you know? I'm considering doing binder tours again, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. And I'll probably do another storing video, maybe another haul video, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> I should be getting back into the swing of things, basically. I'll wrap it up now <laughs> because I've been yapping for a long time and I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, especially if you watched all the way to the end. I appreciate you so much. I'm sorry I've been gone so long. You probably haven't even noticed, <laughs> but it's okay because I'm back now, so we're good. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you hopefully in many future videos very soon. Bye-bye.